بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لاکھوں کروڑوں درود پاک نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور ان کے پاک خاندان پر Dear students, today we will discuss about the free aid reproductive system of the cow. So first of all, I will tell you about what is the structure of the free aid reproductive system of the cow. What are the primary sex organs, what are the secondary sex organs and we divide this lecture into many parts, part 1, part 2, part 3 and etc. So today we discuss about the part 1. So first of all, I tell you about the anatomical structure of the female reproductive system. <laughs> the primary sex organ, it is the ovary and we are in the tail. The primary sex organs of the female reproductive system of the cow, these are ovary. And the all other remaining, the reproductive system, parts they are the secondary sex organs the primary sex organ it is called ovaries ovaries primary sex organs why the secondary sex organs these are oviducts these are oviducts Oviducts are also called fallopian tubes, fallopian tubes and fallopian tubes are also called uterine tubes. So the oviducts are also called fallopian tubes and uterine tubes. The third one, uterus. The third one is called uterus. It is also secondary sex characteristics. The uterus have further two parts. First one it is called body and the other is called uterine hub. Then the next is fourth one it is the cervix. And the fifth one it is called vagina. Sixth one external genitalia. So the first one it is called primary sex organs, ovaries, while the all others, oviducts, uterus, cervix, vagina, and external genitalia, these are also called secondary sex characters. Secondary sex parts. The primary sex organ it is ovaries. Now we draw the diagram of the female reproductive system. Imagine if in the body the reproductive system is present beneath the rectum, beneath the rectum, and the rectum it is present upper from the female reproductive system. The female reproductive system and the rectum, they are separated by the rectogenital pouch. Suppose, these are the, this is the rectum and here the vulva and vagina and cervix and also uterus. So, these are separated by the Rectogenital pouch, rectogenital pouch. This is the rectogenital pouch. So this is the rectum and this is the female reproductive system of the cow. Both are separated by the rectogenital pouch. Now I am drawing the reproductive system of the cow this is the vagina and this is the vulva the vulva is the most outer vulva and then vagina next this is the cervix This is 
called uterus. And uterus is further divided into two uterine halves. Now, after the uterus, there are fallopian tubes. Fallopian tubes. They are also called oviducts. They are also called uterine tubes. And at the last, this is the ovary. Same as like this thing as there, it is present, means uterine heart, then oviduct, and the ovary. This is the reproductive diagram of the female reproductive system. Now I am telling you a series of tubes which surround the female reproductive system. And the series of tubes, they are divided into four. Four series of tubes which cover the female reproductive system. The first one, it is called Sirosa. And the second one, it is called muscularis. Muscularis. The third one, it is called submucosa. Submucosa. And the fourth one, it is called mucosa. If we start from the inner side, the first one it is called mucosa and then submucosa, muscularis and then serosa. These are the four series of tubes which covers or surround the reproductive system of the cow. These are the series of tubes which maintain the shape of the reproductive system of the cow. Maintain the shape of the reproductive system of the cow. Now we are discussing about the, these series of tubes, and I am telling about you. If we start from the outside, the series of tubes, the first one it is called serosa. This is the serosa. Serosa contain the simple one layer that have a squamous cell. Simple squamous cell contain and the serosa is the most outer layer of the reproductive system of the cow. This is called serosa. And it contain the squamous cell. By next, the muscularis the outer more serosa and then muscularis. Muscularis contain two layers, double layer. And the outer most, this is the elongated. This is the elongated. Elongated. This is the outer. While in the sub uh, while in the muscularis, this is the inner. And this is the outer. In the sub, in the muscularis, Double layer is present, the outer it is elongated, while the inner is the circular. This is the circular. While the inner are the elongated, outer is circular. And then next, there is a submucosa. And at the end, this is the mucosa. This is the mucosa. Why the mucosa is cover of the submucosa? This is the submucosa. Submucosa contain the blood supply, lymphatics and the nerve supply. The submucosa contain the blood supply, nerve and also lymphatics.
So at the end, this is the mucosa. This is the mucosa, then submucosa. Then submucosa, and then the this is the muscularis. Muscularis contain two layers, double layers, outer elongated and inner the circular, while the at the end the most outer it is called serosa. This is the veins. While this is the artery. There is also presence of the nerves. Nerves and lymphatic they are also present in the submucosa. This is the structure of the four series of the tubes, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis and the serosa. I am also telling you uh, about the uh, suspensory tissue which is present around the whole reproductive system of the cow that is called broad ligament. That is called broad ligament. If I can start from the ovary, which is the primary sex organ of the female reproductive system. Also, you grind horns, and these are the ovulet. This is the ovary. While this is the, these are the uterine horns. This is the cervix. And then vagina. And add the air, and this is the vulva. So this is the only primary sex organ, while the all other are the secondary sex organs. The suspensory tissue, which is present around the whole reproductive system, which suspend, which suspend this reproductive part of the cow, this is called broad ligament. The broad ligament which is present at near the ovary This is called at this point the broad ligament it is called meso -obelium. Why this broad ligament when it is present at near the or attached with the fallopian tubes or uterine tubes, this is called mesosarcomes. This is called mesosarcomes. Why at the point of uterus, where the uterine has uterus, the broad ligament, it is called mesometrium. And this broad ligament suspend the whole reproductive part of the whole reproductive system of the cow and this also support 
this reproductive system, if this broad ligament is not present in the reproductive system of the cow, there is no shape of any presence of the reproductive system of the cow in the cavity of the body. So, this is our past, which we have discussed a little bit. Inshallah, we will discuss the ovary after the ovary. We will discuss the ovary after the ovary. We will discuss the ovary after the ovary. We will discuss the ovary. तो अगर आपको उस लेक्चर में कोई मसला हो कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना हो फिर भी तो आप जो मैंने अपनी पर्सनल मेल दी है इसमें भी आप पूछ सकते हैं या मुझसे आप कमेंट्स में भी आप पूछ सकते हैं पाकिस्तान पाइंदाबाद अल्लाह हाफिज़